hello everyone welcome to another video and in this video I am going to talk about a very useful utility in Linux called log rotate which is used to manage our logs in an efficient way so that we have uh, enough logs that we need on a system and we can discard the ones that we don't need alright so let's just read about log rotate first so logs are rotated by the log rotate utility to keep them from filling up the file system containing slash where slash log. So in my last video I told you most of the logs that you will find on a Linux system will be under slash where slash log directory. And when a log file is rotated by log rotate, it is renamed with an extension indicating the date on which it was rotated. So in case you have to go back to historical logs you have the date on which it was rotated so you can get the idea I mean you can refer to those uh, timestamps that are uh, created on the log files by log rotate the old slash where slash log messages file so this is just an example so suppose you are, you are, you are using log rotate to uh, rotate this uh, where log messages file which is one of the, one of the most important log files on a, on a Linux system so if you are using the, this log rotate to rotate this file then the old slash where slash log messages file may become slash where slash log slash messages hyphen the date okay year month and day date if it is rotated on May 16 2024 so this is just as, a, as an example okay so once the old log file is rotated a new log file is created so that it can store fresh logs and the service that writes to it is notified so this is the normal behavior of the log rotate utility okay I'm going to show you everything on, on a terminal in a moment but I just took a screenshot of the main configuration file of log rotate which is slash etc slash log rotate dot conf okay when you open this file which I'm going to do in a moment you will see these directives given in the file okay it's, it's a very it's a small file not much in it but there are few things that we should understand so we have the option uh, of when do we want to rotate these files okay either we can use weekly we can use a daily okay and and there are some other options as well okay but generally we will see in a real time setup you will use either weekly or monthly okay most of the times okay so the meaning of this is that the log files will be rotated on weekly basis and at any point of time you can only keep four weeks of logs so there is no retention of logs after four weeks okay if, if, if I uh, refer to this screenshot and then after after uh, the old log file is rotated a new file will be created okay so the meaning of these directives is if, if we use these then this is going to happen with your log files okay your uh, log files will be rotated on weekly basis and you will only have four weeks of logs at any point of time and once the old log file is rotated a new log file will be created with the same name as the old file okay and then uh, each log file that is rotated will have the date suffix at the end okay which will indicate when uh, that log file was rotated okay and then if you want to create any any customized uh, log rotate configuration then uh, you can use this directory slash etc slash log rotate dot d d stands for directory so any customized log rotate configurations can be kept here which can be used by log rotate okay so if I so I am already logged into my uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 9 instance and if I can show you the file now so I'll use vim slash etc slash log rotate dot conf and this is the file okay so this is the default file so as I showed in the screenshot weekly rotate 4 create date x and then uh, include slash etc slash log rotate dot d okay so let's come out of it next so this is uh, the configuration from uh, 
द मेन सर्वर और यू कैन से द प्रैक्टिकल स्नैरियो वेयर इन आई मीन यू विल यूज दिस दिस लॉग रोटेट सो आई हैव आई मीन कॉपीड दिस फ्रॉम माय करंट सिस्टम आई मीन विच आई एम यूजिंग आई मीन वेर आई एम वर्किंग राइट नाउ सो दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ लॉग रोटेट दैट यू विल सी इन अ रियल टाइम सेटअप और इन एन एंटरप्राइज ओके so basically what i what i'm doing here is uh i'm logging in as root first and then i am creating a customized uh log rotate configuration under slash etc slash log rotate dot d the name of the the uh, customized configuration it can be anything it can be uh, this is logs or it can be anything else it's up to you to name it so uh, basically what we do in slash etc slash log rotate dot d we create our own customized configurations for different applications so suppose there are uh, network applications there are web applications and and then there are uh, mail applications so the requirement of this uh, log rotation will be different for each application so in that case you can keep all the all those uh, configs in this directory uh, log rotate dot d and you have the option to choose different options available with log rotate okay so this is just one example of that so <clears throat> so uh, you have to specify the path of your log files where you want to use log rotate first so here if you remember from our last video i am using uh, the syslog remote servers log files okay so this is the host name of the uh, remote server which was uh, forwarding its logs to this this log server which i am currently logged on okay and in in this in this uh, directory all the log files of that remote machines have this format star.log which means i want to use log rotate for all the files under this directory which are ending with dot log so i can use star dot log star is a wild card here okay so i'm just trying to specify that uh, you should use log rotate for all the log files and then i'm using these uh, curly braces so this is the way to specify the log rotate configuration so i'm using this <coughs> these uh, curly braces and i'm using rotate weekly four which again means that the log files are going to be rotated weekly and at any point of time there will be four weeks of logs available okay which i can refer to and then after each log file is rotated a new file will be created okay then the meaning of missing okay here is <clears throat> if there is no log file to be rotated don't throw any errors just uh, pass it okay so for that you can use missing okay and then i also want to uh, uh, compress the rotated log files using the compress option so this compress option uses gzip utility to uh, uh compress the logs and uh, save some additional space okay so the log files which are rotated uh, we have the option to compress them to save some additional space all right so so the meaning of this and then you just uh, um, close the curly braces okay but uh, in this in this <clears throat> video i'm going to show you a very simple example so that we can implement it because uh this configuration cannot be used right now since we are using weekly and we are using some other options so it it uh, i mean we can use but it's going to make things a little a little complicated uh, considering this is uh, just a demo video to show you the functioning of log rotate utility okay so so this is the real time configuration example which you can use in your uh, environment if you want to but here in this example i am going to take one simple example to show you how it actually works okay so this is the example that i am going to practice right now so i am going to uh, create uh, this customized uh, log rotate configuration uh, called syslogs and then i am going to specify the directory where i want to use so i am going to use the same directory uh, which i specified in the last uh, ppt and then i'm going to use this this configuration the meaning of this is the log files are going to be rotated daily okay and when the log files are going to be rotated when the size of each log file increases or reaches to 1 mb then that log file is will be rotated 
okay and then i'm going to compress the log files using gzip to save some additional space okay so let's see this in in real now <clears throat> so let's go to slash etc slash log rotate dot d and i've already created this configuration you can just copy and paste from the ppt so just to save time okay you can just copy and paste it from here uh, and then uh, just create the configuration okay so this is the configuration i'm i'm using let's get out of it and here i've mentioned all the commands that you can use using log rotate i mean there are n number of commands but the commands that i'll be using okay so now what i'm going to do is i've created this configuration okay if you see this again i'm specifying that each log file should reach the size of 1 mb to be used as part of log rotate configuration okay so if i go to this directory now this directory just copy and paste if i do ls space hyphen a ldr or ldra whatever so i can see there's only one file okay so if you remember i configured this server to be the syslog server and a remote server but this ip is still forwarding its logs to this okay so there's only one file and if i check the size of this so to check the size of the uh, files in a directory and on linux in a human readable format you can use ls space hyphen l and h so you can see the size of this file is only 10k okay so 10 kilobytes but we need uh, it, it, it to be 1 mb okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one file like a uh, uh, like a log file and i'm going to specify the size of the file okay so i can use this command f allocate okay f allocate is a is a command that is used to create a manual file with manual size okay so what i'm going to do is f allocate hyphen l which stands for size so i'm going to specify two mbs because i need uh, each e each log file to be at least one mb so that log rotate can include that in its configuration okay so f allocate hyphen l to m and then the name of the file so we can use any file name i'll use this same file name which is given in the example and when i do this if i do ls space hyphen lh now you can see this file is of exactly 2 mbs okay so this is the way to create a manual file with a manual file size it's up to you you can specify 200 mbs also if you want to okay so uh, so since we do not have any any log file with 2 mbs of size right now so i just thought of using this command of and then creating a file on my own so that i can use it uh, to, to to show you uh, this this uh, log rotate utility okay so now we have this one file which can be used by log rotate okay just once again i'm repeating myself uh, we are getting this file because in our custom log rotate configuration we specified that the file size should be at least 1 mb okay so that's why we are doing this Okay, so let me show you this again so slash etc log rotate dot d let's get this okay so if you see here i've specified the size should be 1 mb so that's why i created this file using this command and now i see this file is 2 mb so it can be included as part of log rotate all right next is um <clears throat> so if i do ls space hyphen lh right now i i don't i mean i see that uh log rotate uh, still has not triggered okay it, it is still uh has not yet uh, rotated this file okay so to check the the current status or additional information with uh 
this log rotate utility you can use this command log rotate hyphen d so log rotate hyphen d which stands for debug mode okay which is which is going to show you the additional information about the current settings or the current uh, status of log rotate utility okay so log rotate hyphen d and then the main configuration file path which is log rotate dot con so if, if i run this command and if i see this so if you see here so considering this directory this file log needs rotating so log rotate utility has identified that there's a file which needs rotating but the rotation hasn't been done yet okay because there's a particular time at which this log rotation triggers okay we'll come to that in a moment so here uh, i mean with this command this uh, debug command i'm able to see the current status of my uh, log rotate configuration so here uh, I mean, when i created this file this file has been included as part of a log rotation because it, it's it says that this, this log needs rotating okay so this is the way to check the current status of log rotate all right now i mean you can see some additional information as well okay you can i mean go through it when you uh, practice this next is <clears throat> now if you want to execute it manually okay since there's a particular time at which log rotate triggers which i'm i'm going to show you in a moment but if you want to execute log rotate manually so you can use this command log rotate command so just type log rotate and then the path to the main configuration file of log rotate which is slash etc slash log rotate dot con now if i do ls space hyphen lh i can see there's this one more file created so if you see here after i executed log rotate manually the file which was included as part of log rotation was uh, rotated if you see so the file has the suffix of the date on which it was rotated and since i'm using compress option the same file was compressed with gzip utility okay this dot uh, gz stands for gzip okay so this is the way this log rotate works okay so here if you see the size also it was compressed so uh, the main log file was around 2 mbs but after i used uh, the log rotate to compress it the file size has also reduced to only 2.1k okay so this is the way log rotate works and saves a lot of storage space on the linux system okay which can be used for other things right so this is how it works in a uh, 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 what you can say nutshell right so this is about manual manual execution now if you want to see the log rotate trigger time then you can use this command let me clear the screen system ctl status log rotate sorry uh, this is the status of the service i'm talking about log rotate trigger which is from timer so the way to check the trigger time for log rotate is system ctl status log rotate dot timer if you click here you can see the trigger okay the trigger will be at this date right now so this is the current date and this is the trigger date and 22 hours left which means the trigger will be done after 22 hours and that is why it uh, i mean when we created this uh, that file file 22.log it wasn't log rotated immediately because there's a particular time at which the log rotate uh, triggers okay so there's still 22 hours left okay so that is why i use this manual execution command to log rotate that file okay so this is pretty much about it if you want to learn more about log rotate and many other other features and functionalities and the the flexibilities of this command you can use man log rotate as always and you will see the 
n number of options available okay you can go through this and practice different options available okay but of course it's, it's not possible to include every option in a video but just wanted to give you a very basic idea of how log rotate works and uh, you can try all these options if you have enough time all right so that's pretty much about it i hope you liked my video if you did please hit that like button uh, share this video with friends and colleagues and subscribe to my channel i'm going to end the video now and i'm going to see you in the next one bye